Subscribe, <laughs> man. Tottenham Hotspur nil. Manchester United three. What a week! <laughs> what a week or so has been. It has been absolutely trashed by Liverpool. I'm sure both of us and all you guys at home thought Ole was going to get sacked. And then there were the Conte rumours. Hmm? How about that? Some were, you know, Conte and some were Conte. No, no, no. And I, you know, I understand both points of view, the way he plays, but then, hey, you see that back five in the Spurs game? <sighs> but listen, we got the announcement that the board had decided to give Ole the next three games starting from Tottenham to change his fortune and he started well enough I mean, still probably two of the tougher games to go against Atalanta and City but he got the result he needed and you know, reading from the news this morning Spurs have sat Nuno and are looking like they're gonna get Conte on an 18 month contract Before I get into the game, CM how many missed opportunities are this board going to have? Two. Bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. I saw an article that said United were not prepared for something like this to happen. I almost broke up my arm. Oh, <sighs> Surely if you've been watching us the last few games, probably the whole season, you could have seen that that Liverpool game was coming. But I don't even want to focus on that no more. Leicester, we conceded four to Leicester before and they haven't even been in good form. <sighs> Look, overall, Ole changed to a back five for pure protection. And it worked for him. Credit, where credit is due, it worked for him. Even if Spurs were as bad as they were. <laughs> you know, what happened to Tottenham, man? They fell into a wishing well full of nothing but dust. Halloween settings just dark and scary. You're late, bitch. This man. was a game that we should have won because of the quality of our position. You know? Look at Tottenham. They're begging for help. Save the Spurs. They're in a toilet bowl, brethren. Ronaldo, what a performance. Cavani, brilliant. It's a few other players like uh, McTominay played decent. Wambisaka was great. Varane, immense. But. I want to focus on the front too, because I want to see those two together more often. A lot of people before this season were saying that wouldn't work out, they're the same player, they're going to be in the same places. It don't work like that. When you're a professional footballer, a top class footballer, you find your own areas when you have a strike partner and you thrive together. First game and they are popping. Ba bow! I'm not. Overall, and I said I've said overall bad times. I'm just all over the place. Right? Let me know in the comment section. How are you feeling right now? Because I'm confused. I am confused. I'm just happy that we won the game. Uh, and don't get me wrong. It was the perfect game to have after what happened last week. Facts. It will be interesting to see what happens. And how Ole plays and, and who he plays in the next couple of games. Mm. Don't think the heat is gone. The volcano is ready to erupt. Boom! Right now, you just slow down the thing from bursting. For now! I'm happy with the win. You can never complain. But this week, City and Liverpool both have dropped points. And you can only imagine what position we should have been in if we took care of our games at the start of this season. If you look at all of our Premier League games so far, Leeds win. Hmm? Southampton should be three points, but it's a draw. Then we win our next three games against Wolves, Newcastle and West Ham. Then we don't win a game for four straight. Villa, Everton, Leicester and Liverpool. We have missed out on at least, and let me just make this clear, these are games that I think we should have won. So I'm not including Liverpool in that, because Liverpool top team, I don't think we could have won against Liverpool. Maybe on the off chance, but I'm saying for show lockdown wins that we should be getting. 
we have missed out on at least 13 points that in my opinion should have had we should have had that at the start with this team and our expectations easily with those 13 we would have been top of the league five points clear at this moment of time that just highlights the underachievements of this squad and it's unacceptable really haven't even mentioned us getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup and the Champions League results. Questionable here and there. Tottenham, as opposition, like you said, was what are they needed? A bounce back game to regain some of that confidence? Do I think it was the right decision to stick with Ole after Liverpool? Only the future can give us the answer. Right now, I'm more doubtful than optimistic. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. Let me know in the comment section below, innit? Make sure you like the video as well too to stay twin and share it to everybody you know. But hear what? Your real tests begin tomorrow. And set it Saturday at lunchtime, man. Oh. Manchester City, 12.30, everybody's gonna be watching. If you don't get results, the pressure will begin to mount. And the board, most importantly, won't have any more excuses up their sleeve. Hmm? <laughs> they lack preparation as it is anyway. How can you operate as a business, but not prepare for a crisis? Risk management 101. I mean, they don't care about the crisis on the pitch anyway. <laughs> if they aren't losing money, their PR team stays winning. And I Hi. stay glazers out. Never forget it. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment hashtag twinning in the comments below. We out. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.